Hello. Today we're going to have a close look at the NorCal 40. This is a 90s vintage QRP radio from the NorCal QRP Club, which is being mass produced by Wilderness Radio currently. This one has the KC1 keyer uh, built in. As you can see, it's about four inches wide, about the same deep, and about two inches high. So a perfect backpack radio. Looking at the front, we have the keyer speed. We have the RF gain, controlling the volume. This radio comes with RIT, Receive Incremental Tuning, which allows you to flip that up and then, without changing the transmit frequency, tune either side of the, re of the uh, receive frequency. Of course, the main tuning dial. And then two buttons for the keyer, the uh, KC1 keyer, two controls. One is to play and record a message and the other is to read or search frequency. Tap it and it will read out the frequency that you're on since there's no uh, digital readout, there's no way of knowing the frequency. This will give you that by tapping it. Uh, as you change it, you go and tap it and see where you are. Uh, pretty cool uh, and real easy to use. Looking at the back of the NorCal 40, your antenna connector, your power on-off switch, there's your power jack, 10 to 15 volts, works off battery, any kind of AC wall wart that gives you uh, DC, 10 to 15 volts DC, headphone jack, Keyer jack and a straight key jack. So this goes to the keyer. This just goes to a uh, straight key in case you want to use a straight key. If you want to use a paddle, it goes down there. Very cool. This transceiver is the uh, 40A. It's a revision B. It's the newest one, 1995 is the date on the board and you'll notice N6KR if that call sounds familiar to anybody out there that's Wayne Burdick he's the uh, person who started uh, I guess the uh, co-owner of uh, Elecraft so uh, this is his earlier design that he did for the NorCal QRP Club. It's still just a wonderful radio for backpacking or even uh, local QRP work. Um, puts out a couple of watts. It's the final transistor and a, uh, a very very nice radio. This one is built up very nicely as well. So in this setup, I've connected a little Radio Shack uh, amplified speaker, and this uh, really comes in handy in the field uh, if you don't want to use head a headset. Uh, nothing wrong with a headset, but this gives you the ability to 
sit there uh, without anything on your head and, uh, and listen to um, uh, your QRP radio. Um, I, of course, like to use a, a watt meter. This little Oak Hills research reads out uh, 1 or 10 watts. And this radio puts out uh, a couple of watts. Um, really depends upon the SWR. My SWR is pretty high here, so I'm getting about a watt and a half. Normally about uh, 1.8 watts, something like that. So uh, overall, very nice QRP radio for the field. Uh, very enjoyable, easy to use, and uh, easy to make contact with. So uh, have fun with your NorCal 40. Hope you enjoyed the uh, little video here.